A grandfather is taking his constitutional issues to the U.S. Supreme Court in what is expected to be a landmark case. 76-year-old Otis McDonald is suing the city of Chicago over its handgun ban. Good evening, McDonald says he wants the right to protect himself from gang members who threaten the Morgan Park neighborhood where he lives. Otis McDonald's case will be argued before the nation's high court next week. ABC 7's Paul Mikey talked with McDonald. He's here now with that part of the story. Paul? Cheryl Ron, Otis McDonald is 76, a retired maintenance engineer who moved to Chicago in the early 50s with $18 in his pocket. At this point in his life, he says he surely didn't set out to make history, but that's clearly where he finds himself. I have a strong drive to, to do what I can to right that I see is wrong. For the better part of four decades, Otis McDonald has lived in Morgan Park. He and his wife raised their family here. Ten years after they first moved in, Chicago enacted its handgun ban, an idea McDonald at the time applauded. But in the years that have followed, McDonald says his neighborhood has changed, more crime. He's been broken into three times, and he's long since concluded that the gun ban is a bust. It doesn't work. It doesn't work because, simply because you, the, the senior citizens and law-abiding citizens like myself is being victimized by saying that you can't have a handgun in your own home. Why? Tell me what I can't have in my own home. I'm not out there robbing nobody. After attending an NRA rally four years ago, McDonald was recruited by gun rights activists to serve as a possible plaintiff in legal action against the city. So I was skeptical at first, you know. I'm thinking now, wait a minute here, you know, uh, little old me, I'm all up in here with lawyers and things, you know. McDonald joked with lawyers that his color must have been a bearing on his selection. But he ultimately decided that race and politics were secondary to a cause he believes in. So he agreed to be the lead plaintiff, McDonald versus the city of Chicago and Mayor Richard M. Daley. Does this lead to everyone having a gun in our society. If they think that's the answer, then they're greatly mistaken. Then why don't we do away with the court system and go back to the old West, you have a gun and I have a gun, and we'll settle on the streets. I don't think that anybody involved with this case, certainly nobody I've met, is hoping for the right to own a handgun in Chicago so that they can say, wow, finally I can go knock over that 7-Eleven. When the case is argued next Tuesday before the Supreme Court, Otis McDonald will be in the audience, mindful that whatever the legal outcome, his name is now etched in history. I didn't think too much about that. I, I just find myself here and I pray every night and uh, that the Lord give me the strength to endure. Otis McDonald presents a public face on the debate different than the more traditional white rural gun rights advocate. That aside, the question before the Supreme Court next week is whether its decision in the summer of 08 to strike down the Washington, D.C. handgun ban can apply equally to Chicago and beyond. Many are watching this. Landmark. Right. Thanks, Paul.